Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to configure the ERP issues tool plus database. So how, if you get this file for Telia Soft Software Company, then uh, follow these steps and configure the source code on your system. So first step is uh, extract this. So now right click here and extract the file. And then go to your SQL server. You need to install first. And then right click and run as administrator. Give the permission as administrator level. Okay, so that is the administrator. So right and run as administrator and now yes. So that's is running uh, and now go to the database first you need to attach database and side in the SQL server so the database name is the cloud ERP one if the database is not going to be attached then the uh, you use this script also the script is inside in this file okay so now where to run the application run the okay that's run I'm going to connect okay so Oh, that is done. I'm going to right click on the database and then attach and add. Now click on the add button. Enter the path where the database is located and select database and then click OK and OK. Okay, once the database is attached, then you need to complete the one another step, which is user permission. You just select the select owner for the database. So first go to your database and then right click on database and go to the property and once the window is open this database property one so then go to the file and select here the owner. I have selected out by default but if not then go to this options which is the browse button and then browse and select all these users I am going to select okay so that is where you must okay okay and then OK and OK. So now database is attached successfully. So now I'm going to close this. OK, now that's it. And then go to the application, which is this one. And then go to here and find the this cloud ERP dot SLN. OK, I'm going to delete also these debug files. OK, so these files are deleted. And now then simply click on this cloud ERP solution or copy the path and open new Visual Studio and which Visual Studio want to open this uh, application and then go to the open a project or solutions and right click and paste the path here and select the SLN file this is the solution okay so now open so now the application is opening so now it's going to be ready okay here the team foundation okay now i don't need this okay so now that's going to be ready okay now wait right here you see the status of the processing okay now the it's ready completely now you see the database exists and that is the cloud erp okay so that is completely ready okay here you need to complete the one another step okay uh, first go to this web config and then scroll and check your data uh, the uh, your connections this one and check your server name also that's must be same okay i have this KML server express let's i will show you so you must same this server okay i have then local slash SQL express and uh, now also change here there is the cloud ERP and that is the app config. So you need to must same these two. Okay. So here this is the SQL server where the database is located. Okay. So also you need to change this. So that must be the server on which the database is located. So that's it. So once this all step is done, we will run the application. So this is the proper way of how to connect the ISP and MVC project inside and, and how to uh, configure the uh, source code plus database on your uh, personal PC inside in the Visual Studio. So for configuration for running the ASP.NET project uh, on your PC, you need first install the Visual Studio, which is must have the .NET framework and uh, uh, ASP.NET MVC. Okay, and the uh, second one is the SQL server 
and with SMS, SSMS means SQL Server Management Studio to attach your database on your server. So SQL Server Management Studio is the client tools. Uh, on this tool you using to get to access your SQL Server and then connect to, to the database. Okay. So uh, you so you need these two tools must okay without these two tools you don't have to configure your code so this is the uh, application which is run successfully i'm going to log in so once i'm click on the login the application is going to be login okay this is the username and password so this is username password you will find inside the database in the user folder so now you see here the application is running successful and i'm going to click on the pad salary history so you will get also here a history so there is the um, proper way of how you can connect the uh, ERP source code on your system means configure. So if you like the video, please subscribe to Kudu Soft. Like the video, share the video.